Well, I'm very glad to see that somebody is feeling comfortable. Can you even make out this creature? This is his snout. You can actually see his teeth. <laughs> and his shiny lip. Have you been borrowing Mummy's Balm de Rose? This little boy is in the lap of luxury right now. In his favourite bed by the Arga and Mummy and Daddy turned on the underfloor heating for the first time and it's so cosy. <laughs> Good morning my darlings. It has been a while since I started the vlog in my natural <laughs> fresh from bed state but I have a confession to make. It is half past ten. I have not been <laughs> having a lazy morning. just been joined by two very excited looking young boys. I've not been having a lazy morning, I promise. I've actually edited three videos this morning. So it's been fairly productive and I always do my skincare as soon as I wake up. I've actually got um, a lot of vitamin C serum on my face right now, which is why I'm looking very, very shiny. But it was such a miserable, blusterous morning that I just couldn't be bothered to get changed or do anything other than whack a pan of chocolat in the oven this morning. So here I am, nearly 11 o'clock in the morning and I still haven't got dressed. But I have a lovely dinner that I'm going to this evening, so I want to start getting myself glammed up. Not that I'm going to get that glam because I feel like I don't know how to do that anymore, <laughs> but I'm going to have a little bit of a pamper today, get myself ready later on and it looks as though we have a little bit of blue sky coming, so I might actually pop on a bit of makeup and do some filming later. We hopefully have got some bits arriving from Soho Home, and also we've had um, a visit from our local interior designer who makes blinds and um, she does her upholstery, so hopefully she's going to drop around some books and we can decide what fabric, if I flip you around, um, we are going to put on... The, on the window cushion because especially shush please especially now that we've got the new chairs in which excuse me that is enough <sighs> especially now that we've got the new chairs in and the new lampshade which i'm not sure you guys have seen we got this um actually quite a while ago from Pookie Lights, but it looks lovely in this corner. I think we might get another rug, but we have got a low table coming for here, but I think I need to decide on a more appropriate fabric for this window seat because that bright, almost duck egg blue is not really going with the vibe. Oh, that's so embarrassing. This is my plate from my pan of chocolat earlier. Right, I'm going to put some makeup on and I'll catch up with you guys shortly. <laughs> okay, darlings, my makeup is done for the day. I'm not going to bother doing anything with my hair because if I take a step outside, it's just going to go completely AWOL <laughs> in this crazy weather. So something else that you guys have been asking for an update on is my laser hair removal, my IPL. As you may remember, I use the Kenzie device at home this is one of the best things that's come out of lockdown for me because going into the salon for my laser hair removal was just such a pain like having to strip down in front of someone and even just going to the appointments was just a little bit of a faff why do that when you can literally do it in the comfort of your own home speaking of which how nice is this little setup the lighting is a little bit crazy because it's so dark outside but i feel quite regal on my new dressing table. So brief catch up, the Kenzie device that I have, um, this is laser hair removal, it's a pulse light technology which basically means that you shave your legs um, or your underarms or your bikini line. I use this once a week and then it is a more permanent form of hair removal. It's my preferred use of hair removal on the underarms and bikini because I just want long lasting results. This is so so quick and easy to do at home. I personally 
don't find it painful in the slightest. There are various different settings you can use. You can amp up the intensity or dial it down depending on your preference, your comfort levels and your skin sensitivity. When you open it up for the first time, you get the device, which is just this really lovely ergonomic design. You get a really long power cord. So mine is actually plugged in all the way in the corner of the room. I think it's like three meters. So very convenient for literally doing wherever you want to. And you also get a quick startup guide, which to be honest, it's just so easy. You literally just press the on button and it makes this little hum. It's not a scary noise in the slightest, it's just this very little hum. Um, and then you can basically press it. You can see this is the intensity going up or down. And then you press this massive button in the middle to make it work. So it's really, really easy. As I have done in the past, I'm gonna literally show you how easy it is. So the area that you are using the Kenzie on should be freshly, freshly, <laughs> recently shaved. And I have to say, that's one of my favorite things about this. With waxing and epilating, the most annoying thing for me was having to leave the area to grow. So you'd have to have like longish hair so that the wax or the epilator had something to grab onto. What I love about this is that the area has to be shaved so you're basically hair free all the time. Just press it onto the area. And that's all there is to it. It is the easiest thing in the whole world. So to update you on my progress, I first started using my Kenzie every single week. Um, on a Sunday, I just made it part of my Sunday routine. If I had just got out the shower, I'd had my pamper session freshly shaved, um, then I would just stick on a YouTube video, but within a minute of the YouTube video starting, I would be done. It's so, so easy. I would say I started noticing real noticeable results after about four weeks. And then after 12 weeks, I was like, do I still need to do this? Because I'm not seeing any hair regrowth. So then I reduced doing this to every couple of weeks. Now I'm just doing this every month. I mean, what you literally just saw is me done for a month now. I've had so many friends being like, Josie, should I get it? I'm thinking about it. And I always say the same thing to me, it's just the most obvious thing in the world. It is so easy, so much more affordable than going into a salon to get it done. So effective, it works so, so well. Um, did I say so much more affordable? As I have done in the past when I've shown you the Kenzie, I do have a discount code. It is a new discount code, which is F50, www.kenzie.com, K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com. And then when you get to the checkout, you can use my code F50. I'll leave it linked down below. You'll save $50, which is around 45 pounds. As I said, um, with what you get in the kit, Remember, if you're from the UK, it's a US plug, so you're going to need to get an adapter. I'll leave a link um, to the Amazon one. It was like two pounds that I got as well. And you may have to pay a tiny bit of import tax, but it's still gonna be less than without my discount code. So it's still very, very affordable. I think as we move into autumn, and winter, it can be quite easy to let certain parts of your beauty routine slip. I know that in the past, I've kind of not really cared about hair removal during the autumn winter months, but because this is just so easy to integrate into my routine, I think it's actually potentially the best time of year to get started because you can just spend this time in the cozy warmth of your house, clicking away, super easy, and then by summer next year, or whenever you next get into your bikini, you'll be hair free. So it's a perfect time to start. Another reason that makes now the perfect time to start if you haven't yet invested in one of these and I know that so many of you have and so many of you are also on your hair free journey. It works best when the contrast between your hair colour and your skin colour is greatest. So you don't want to be applying fake tan or having too much of a real tan before you use this because then your skin would be darker and there would be less of a contrast between your hair and the skin if that makes sense. So now as we go into autumn winter, it is a really good time to use it because probably your skin is gonna be at its palest right now. There is a page on the Kenzie website about um, what different skin types can use this because it's not suitable for 100% everybody. But my easiest way of thinking about it is if there is a big contrast between your skin color and your hair color, then that's how it will work because it actually needs that melanin, I think it's melanin, in the hair to transport that kind of light therapy and then scatter it into the skin. And what it does is it basically, this is the non-scientific version, it zaps the actual hair follicle, but it needs to travel through the hair in order to get to the hair follicle 
and if it can't tell the difference between the hair and the skin it's not going to travel so well <laughs> that's just how i think about it um and then after a few times of that hair follicle getting zapped by the kenzie it just doesn't bother to re grow hair anymore which is why your hair eventually stops growing in certain areas IPL laser hair removal is something that has been around for so long now there have been so many global worldwide studies just proving how safe and effective it is to use from home and I think now home treatments are just so effective so many people are choosing to do this at home rather than in the salon and as I said previously it's just not convenient to go into the salon and get this done it's just so so easy to get it done at home so so yes I love my Kenzie highly highly recommend this if you haven't invested in one yet then now is the perfect time as we go into autumn i'm gonna pop my cardigan back on zap away in the evenings after your lovely pampering bath and as i've mentioned previously i would recommend getting the estrid razors because you get such a close shave and they're just really nice good quality razors suitable for vegans as well so much better quality than other razor brands which are far more expensive so use your estrid in the shower then zap away with a kenzie and Trust me, you'll be so, so thrilled with the results. Oh, and one more thing that a couple of people asked is where you can use it. It is safe pretty much everywhere, including on the face. So you can use the Intense Pulse Light basically anywhere. And it's, yeah, so, so easy, so effective. F50 at the checkout. I'll leave it linked down below on the Kenzie website. I think that's everything, but as always, if you guys have any more questions on it, um, I'll leave some of the other videos where I spoke about it linked down below but that's pretty much what i tell my friends when they ask about it and it lives in my bedside table just so i can really easily zap zap away on my pamper mornings or pamper evenings okay i've actually changed my mind i've decided that i do want to do um something with my hair because i want to do a little bit of filming i've actually had these for quite a while now but i'm yet to try them but i was watching um one of fleur's vlogs today she didn't have this exact hair item which is from T3 but she had something quite similar looking and when I was on a shoot last week the hairstylist did use something very similar to this so I'm going to give it a go um, and then if it goes well I can film Sunday's video while I've got great hair as well so this is the Whirl Trio from T3 and it's really beautiful. It's white and then this beautiful rose gold. So I'm probably going to try the biggest barrel. Um, so let's give it, let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually quite happy with how this has turned out. Now that I've brushed it, that tool was actually really, really quick to use. It was so hot. The amount of steam coming off my hair was a little bit concerning, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm very pleased with the finished result. As you saw, I just brushed it through with my paddle brush, which I didn't even realize is actually the same brand. This is also, sorry, a bit gross showing you close up, but this is also from T3. I'm trying so many new hair devices at the moment, but I am notoriously the worst person at doing my own hair. So for someone very unskilled in the hair department, I think this has turned out quite nicely. I might pop in a little bit of hairspray. So I think this is good enough to do a little bit of filming. So now that I have my lighting, in the corner, obviously not switched on right now. Even though it's a cloudy day, I should be able to film my video for Sunday. So, time to get changed and start filming. Okay, slight change of plan because the weather has not got any brighter. If anything, it's got more dull. So there's no point in forcing filming a video. I think it's due to be nice on Sunday. This is the lighting in front of the window and it's just blue. I think it's due to be nice on Sunday, so instead of rushing, I'm gonna film the video on Sunday morning and do a quick edit and upload for Sunday evening, because it's Sunday's fashion video that I wanted to film. But yeah, I just find that if I'm not quite in the right mood and the writing is, the writing is not light, the lighting is not right, there is no point in forcing it. So instead, I'm just gonna have a little bit of a pamper because 
I need to just sit downstairs and catch up with some editing and some emails, um, but I've just had a few deliveries and I feel like the universe is telling me to have a bit of a pamper, so let me show you what I just unboxed. Oh, I also made an ASOS order the other day and one of the things that I added to my basket was this. It is a bright pink, very big water bottle, but when I'm up here I just feel as though and it's an accident waiting to happen me bringing glasses up here all the time she says with a hot mug of matcha tea um and also i just still do not drink enough water so i thought if i get one of these then at least i'll be able to see how much i'm drinking in a day and hopefully get through at least two because then i'll be getting my two liters and this will pretty much live up here because let's be honest it's not the most attractive of water bottles but hopefully it'll get the job done i had this really big delivery from a company called holler and glow they're available at Superdrug, um and they've sent this perfect mani transforming hydration and soothing hand treatment these are um some little hand masks and then there's also some foot masks and possibly too much information but i was um, getting rid of, sorry this is so gross, the dead skin on my feet earlier today. I used my London Grace foot file and then I was only thinking after I finished, oh I could do with some moisturization. So this has got avocado oil and hyaluronic acid in there. So I'm actually gonna pop those on. In fact, I'm gonna do it now. And what I like to do when I put a foot mask on is put a pair of socks on afterwards. So I'm gonna put a pair of my sausage dog socks on top. And there we go, ever stylish. I have got my little sausage dog very fluffy socks on and you can hear my feet crinkling a little bit because I've got the avocado pouches on underneath. I just feel like if you're gonna use a foot mask, it's just you're a lot um, more stable on your feet and they feel like they're touching your feet in more places if you pop a pair of socks on over the top. So it says to leave these on for 15 to 20 minutes. I probably will wear them a little bit longer. And I'm sure it said somewhere on the packaging that all of this packaging is biodegradable, which is very impressive. Um, the next thing that I just unboxed downstairs is this. And this is um, from a company called Turbist. Uh, this is not PR, this is something that I purchased after seeing it on an Instagram story advert. It is a hair turban and just my luck, literally the same day that I open my order in the Holler and Glow PR package was another hair turban. I feel like this one is not going to be quite as towelly, but how typical is this? Oh, actually, no, I take that back. This is completely different. So this one is a silk wrap. Let's have a look. Goodness me, that is not what I was expecting. It actually is like a proper turban. So this is actually meant for, say you've had a blow dry and you want to stop your hair from going frizzy the next day. Very interesting. I will give that a try. Okay, that doesn't make me feel quite so bad about this. So I use a hair turban every single time I get out of the shower. My current one, Charlie actually bought for me and it is gray. There's nothing wrong with it, but when I saw this pink one, I thought, yes, that's even better. Um, this actually had all kinds of snazzy claims. It said it dries your hair really quickly. That's not hugely important to me because I wear them pretty much until um, I'm gonna do something with my hair anyway, but it looks really lovely and soft, very nice and absorbent, and just this lovely peachy color. It wasn't, hugely affordable. I think half of what you're paying for is this lovely pouch that it comes in, which to be honest, I don't really need, but um, always, always handy and a lovely way of presenting the hair turban. This was also in this morning's delivery. It is the new vanishing oil from Living Proof. Um, it came with a note a silicone-free, super lightweight, five oil blend suitable for all hair types and textures to smooth, hydrate, and add shine. Work a drop or two through dry or damp hair for instant results and add more if required. A fast, absorbing formula vanishes into hair without a trace, leaving you a softer, smoother hair that doesn't feel greasy or weighed down. 
I love the sound of that and it sounds like the perfect thing to add to hair like mine right now that's just been styled so in a second I will give this a try. Then it was a really good day for post today this gorgeous bag arrived. This is very kindly sent from Tiffany Watson from her lovely brand 365. It's the most beautiful bag. As you can see, it's this kind of taupey pink, kind of like a croc print faux leather. And then you've got this pearl handle. Obviously not the most stylish way of me introducing such a beautiful bag to you with my sausage dog socks on. But how lovely is this? It's a really sweet little size perfect with my Samsung phone. I'm pretty sure an iPhone would fit in here as well, um, but that is just absolutely adorable. I might even take this to the event to my dinner with me this evening. And next we get to my Farfetch order. Okay, so I know I have just bought those beautiful Saint Laurent boots, but I saw these. These are Chloe boots and I thought I just had to order them. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. I'm obviously going to give them a try, but as soon as I saw them on the website, I just thought they were so, so beautiful. I feel like this kind of footwear is the type that's going to get so well worn in my wardrobe and where I'm just really not feeling like investing in high heels at the moment. I think the boots are where I am willing to invest. I love the style of these, really a question, a great heel height um, and they look like they're going to come up the leg to a really great length. So I'm so looking forward to trying these. They didn't have my usual size which is a 36 so I got a 37. Um, I know you probably have this code ingrained in your heads because I'm mentioning it so often but if there is anything that you love the look of on Farfetch um, then you can use my code MumblerFF10. It's not an affiliate code, I don't get anything from it but you can save 10% on um, Farfetch so if you did want something like these or I did notice actually that they have got on the website right now um, this bag in stock which I would so highly recommend. It's my Chloe Tess, my most used bag of the past two years I would say. I literally bought that bag um, days after it was released by Chloe and I still use it so much. They also have the Chloe C bag on the website um, and they've re-released the Chloe, I think this is called the Marcy or the Macy bag with the shearling and this one is, I say in inverted commas only, £600 so if you did want a lovely wintry bag from Chloe that wasn't going to be as expensive as their more classic bags, I mean I would actually recommend over that investing in one of the more classic bags because I get so much use out of these but if you want to treat yourself to something fun that's a really nice option bit of a digression. So yes, this was a real splurge and I haven't fully decided if I'm going to keep them or not, but I just wanted to show you my beautiful new boots from Chloe. And then finally, I just unboxed another Topshop order. I know it's not been that long since I last shared a Topshop unboxing with you, but I actually had a voucher to use up because I do work with Topshop over on my Instagram. Um, so I actually bought some very boring bits. I bought a couple of pairs of socks. How exciting. Two more pairs of sunglasses because I am really loving Topshop sunglasses at the moment. Um, this is a very on-trend shape. These are actually brown. They look quite black on camera, but they're brown. Um, and I think they will be a really nice pair of autumnal sunglasses. Fairly similar, but slightly bigger. These have got a slight kind of tortoise detail to them. I'll get those out in a second when I can find some scissors. And then just another really lovely classic jumper dress because I wear jumper dresses so often. This has got a really nice high neck and a tie around the waist. I think this could look potentially very, very nice with the boots. So once my um, foot pampering is complete, I will give this a try for you. Alrighty, I've popped downstairs and I have currently got, um, what are they called? I think it's Elegant Touch. These are what I use. They're like these little at-home kind of foil wraps to get rid of your gel nails because I had a couple of chips. And so that has given me an excuse to uh, get Charlie to do the unboxing, mm. but it's home stuff, so I'm not getting him to do my unboxing for me. So we have just received these beautiful cushions from Soho Home. These were actually gifted to us from Soho Home. Everything else we've ever got um, from them we have purchased. So yeah, very, very grateful to Soho Home for sending these. Do you want to talk us through the cushions? Yeah. So if anyone has been following us on our home Instagram, they'll have seen the ones that we have in the pink bedroom. Yep. The floral ones, which we bought in the sale, didn't we? We actually got most of the Soho Home stuff 
in the house we got in the sale. Same um, the chandelier that was in the sale. Chandelier was in the sale. Glasses. The glasses were in the mm. sale. The bed in the attic bedroom was in the sale. So, the the only yes, the rug. The only stuff that wasn't in the sale that we bought full price are the cushions and the throw in our master bedroom. Oh yeah. But anyway, so home are up in their game. They've I think they've essentially rebranded a bit. Yeah. So they're going a bit more well they've certainly got a bigger choice of products now, haven't they? Yeah. Um a wider range. Um I would say the cushions are the things we love the most because they're such amazing patterns, aren't they? They are and they're so timeless. They just instantly give a house or a sofa. I mean just They just add detail, don't they? Yeah, they're I so mean, lovely. To be honest with you, we're not gonna have them in here, but e these would even not these, maybe these would even look quite good against that green. They would. Um I do actually think that sofa, possibly needs i don't know <laughs> it looks very sad right now because i've just been Saturday, yeah. lent against it yeah okay. it's been a very tough day they for little boys they love these sofas where they can jump on the cushions yes it's so squishy and comfy oh big stretch for little you boys boy. um so the plan is these we are going to um use in the drawing room because the next two rooms that we are focusing on well, we've got three rooms we're focusing on, haven't we? Yeah. We've got the office, which is currently being painted as we speak, but we've not purchased much furniture for yet, have we? Nope. Then we have the drawing room, which we've already got some furniture, we're waiting on a sofa. Uh-huh. Yeah, carry on. Um, and these are going to go in there, right? Yes, I think they'll look amazing I against the colour of the sofa. Well on the sofa, because then the armchairs have a bit of this sort of goldish yeah. ochre colour. They'd be fantastic. Ochre or okra? Ochre. Okay, uh, coming through, and then these are rather excitingly for our of the three rooms, the project that is yet furthest behind, probably, but no decorating needed is the loft bedroom, isn't it? So we need to just clear the loft. We already have some lovely lights coming from Solar Home, all lights. Mm -hmm. These we've got some bed linen already from Piglet in a bed, Piglet in bed, but we need a bed. So we, we do. Need to decide on the bed, but those are going to look lovely in there. Um, and then I think we've also got some other things coming from Sarah, haven't we? You've got muck on the carpet, Plectorial. In front of him. Oh, like my socks. Yeah, I'll get you those. <laughs> I think your mum got me them, didn't she? No, I got you them in I think you both got me them. I think you got me them and then your mum got me a pair as well. Because I've got two pairs and I'm sh I know one of them came from your mum. <gasps> Dig dig, you're so Lovely. handsome. Alrighty, I've been downstairs for a couple of hours getting some more editing and more emails done. Back upstairs now and I'm trying on all my new things at once because that's the most fun thing to do. I'm very, very happy with this Topshop jumper dress. As I think I mentioned earlier, I've been wearing jumper dresses so much lately. I just feel like that's what I wanna wear when I'm lounging around the house. It's the easiest thing to grab when I'm deciding what to wear. This little bag, which hangs so beautifully on my wrist, is just absolutely gorgeous. And then the boots, oh my goodness. They're looking quite a bit darker on camera. Gosh, my skin looks super dark um, than they are in real life. They're actually more of like a milk chocolate, I would say. Oh, that's interesting. The way that I stood then made it really bunch up around the ankle and I really would rather they stayed quite stiff, but I'm wearing them on the rug, as you can see, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them. I need to do a little bit of thinking. Yeah, I don't like it when they bunch up. Hmm. Not sure. Gonna do a little bit of thinking about this. Now I need to get ready for our dinner plans this evening. I think I'm gonna pop on potentially my little pink Reese dress, um, cause then I can wear maybe my faux fur gilet with it. Possibly my new bag. So yeah, time to get ready. Okay, all dressed and I have just very quickly topped up my makeup and we're about to go. Still deciding on the footwear. I have just popped on the Chloe boots. I do absolutely love them. I don't know if maybe I'm just getting very excited about something new and maybe I should wear something a little bit more dainty possibly with the dress. But I think that the boots with the dress give the dress even more of a Chloe vibe, especially finished with the Chloe C handbag. Um, but the dress is actually from Reese a couple of years ago and it's one of my favorites. Gucci belt and then the only jewelry that I've got on notably is this little um, pendant. This is 
This was my very first piece of jewellery from Edge of Ember, which is very appropriate because this evening's dinner is actually to celebrate Victoria in the Froze collaboration with Edge of Ember. She's designed her own beautiful jewellery collection with them. So very much looking forward to discovering the collection. And I thought I would wear my favourite Edge of Ember piece in honour of that. I think I will pop on my gilet as the finishing touch. 